Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For all of those who are new here, welcome. My name is Erin. As I'm sure we're all aware, we're here for one thing and one thing only today. It's gonna be the massive community patchwork project unboxing. As we all know, quick little recap, I've been having my lovely subscribers send in their own handmade crochet or knit square granny patches that I do plan on assembling, hopefully into a blanket. We'll see what options I have and what we want to turn it into, but I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous to unbox everything and just showcase everything, but I do want to say a massive thank you to everybody who spent their own money, their own hard work, their own quality time to make all of these patches come true. I'm gonna do my absolute best to showcase every single patch to the best of my ability and of course who they came from. And real quick, before we get into the video, make sure that you are subscribed here to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. We're on the road to 100K, which is up and coming really, really soon. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok if you guys would like to follow, subscribe there. Let's dive into it. This very first really cute little package is from Pauline in California. They sent in one patch. Ooh, this is knitted. It's actually, I think, double-sided. It's very thick. This is my first ever double knitted piece. I hope you like my sun design. This is by Yay Caffeine. I will leave their information here on screen if you guys are interested in checking out their Instagram as well. So this is Pauline's submission. We have the double-sided or double knit technique. We have it all yellow on one side and all white on another. This thing feels so so good so thank you so much Pauline for taking the time to make this and sending it in to me I really do appreciate your hard work moving on to the next package this is from Clara in Brazil we have a long distance package so these are the patches that they sent in this first one is a solid lime green colorway it has kind of like this I don't know like a star stitch here in the very center it's very dense and super gorgeous I love this color the very next one that they sent in I think this is the same design but they just have a different yarn fiber or different yarn color selection with a little touch of brown I really love this one these colors actually go really really well together and then the last and third patch they sent in is a super cute Valentine's heart pink and red patch so thank you Clara for sending these in we're going in the pile right now this next package is from Kimberly in PR I'm gonna take that as Puerto Rico am I wrong oh, so cute. I love when you guys wrap it and make it all darling like this. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Kimberly included some of these. I think they're like handmade like little stars. These are absolutely darling. I need to learn how to make these. So inside here I have a little note as well as some stickers. Get out. Let me know, Kimberly, if these are handmade, if these are your own. But this is what Kimberly included. Look at these little guys. They're so cute. Thank you for these little gifts. So the first thing that Kimberly sent in is a really darling sunflower keychain. And then as for their patchwork contributions, this first one is like a really gorgeous, earthy toned. I think this is actually like a granny stitch or a granny square pattern. And then for their second contribution, get out is this like a cappuccino a cappuccino or maybe even like a cup of coffee that is so cute and you obviously know me Kimberly so this does have a little bit of like a 3d quality to it she's nice and thick all right all right moving on because I'm taking way too long this next one is from Victor again this is from PR so I am gonna assume that this is Puerto Rico oh. y'all Packaging 100, look at this. So along with a few different patches, there are also like some smaller little designs that I will show you guys. There's so much going on. This is definitely one of a kind and you put your own personalized spin on it. So there's a ton of really cute little buttons as well as some like beads that have been stitched on. If I'm not mistaken, I do feel like this is a cactus or a cacti. Let me know if I'm incorrect. Get out, these are so tiny. This is another really awesome granny square, a ton of colors. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is made out of like number zero 
lace weight yarn. This is so, so thin. This must have taken so long to make. On top of that, we do have another colorful option. I love this little ombre effect. And then last but not least, we do also have a white granny square. So thank you so much for sending these in. They also did send in some of these like little designs of their own. So I have like this really crazy, kind of looks like a leaf design. I love this though. And then there's, ooh, kind of looks like a feather or like a paisley type of design. This is so intricate. This floral little package is from Stitched by Valerie in Florida. Oh my gosh, you guys always go so above and beyond. I think there's four different patches right here. So first and foremost, we have a spiral patch. I'm a sucker for these. I love the pastel colors and there's a good amount of like velvet texture on these. Next up, oh my gosh, I love this. We have another 3D patch, kind of has like a sunburst type of flower here in the center. It almost gives it kind of like a mosaic look, but look at the colors of that center flower that is absolutely gorgeous. I love your pick on yarn, so I'm gonna have to DM you and ask you what yarn you use because you know me, I need to have all of the yarn. The last two, oh my gosh, these are so cute. All right, the last two patch options that I'm fangirling over, we have a snail patch. I don't think I got a snail patch last year. Kind of reminds me of Gary from SpongeBob. And then the last patch is another floral patch. All right, we're just picking another random one here out of the pile. Oh, this one is from Great Britain. This is from Lucy. Thank you, Lucy, for sending this in. I love you, you're always supporting me here on my channel and I'm really excited to see. Whoa, I think this is knitted. No, I think it's crochet but it kind of gives me like the illusion of a knit patch. So this kind of has like stained glass windows type of vibe. So gorgeous. There's some front post or back post stitches with a bright and vibrant royal purple coloring. Make sure to also support the other fellow crafters here. They definitely deserve a shout out for all of their hard work. So I'm a huge fan of yours, Lucy. Thank you for sending this in. Oh my gosh. This next package is from Makia. If you guys know, Makia sent in a massive package last year. So this one also feels, it's a big boy. Get out. Y'all, she did it again. We have I think this is like 15, 10 or 15 patches. Look at this. So really quickly here, because a lot of these are repeats, the first color option, just based off of the color transitions here, I definitely need to go buy, buy myself some Lion Brand Ombre yarn because this feels really wonderful and I just love these earthy tone colors. So I think we have four different options, I believe in the same color line. Oh, I take it back, we have six. On top of that, we do also have some more solid color options. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six using this really gorgeous light teal color option. So this is the first one. I can see that the colors start to kind of transition here, but this is, I still believe the Lion Brand Ombre, Mandala Ombre yarn. And then last but not least, I have four more patches in more of a deeper green colorway. I love having solid patches included into like these crazy designs because it definitely helps to kind of break up all of the color and like all of the crazy designs. You definitely need some solid patches in there to make everything stand apart and have everything shine in its own glory. This package is from Ari K Crochets in South Carolina. I see Ari all the time commenting, DMing, messaging, so. I know you've been here for a while supporting me and I can't wait to support your work back. Let's see what they sent in. Get out. Okay, these are so unique and one of a kind. I love them already so much. First and foremost, we have a Mowgli patch and look how intricate this is. Not only did Ari implement lettering, but they also put in a paw print because we all know Mowgli. I actually had to kick him out of this video because he was being a little bit too annoying and sniffing all of the packages. So this is a keeper and a stunner for sure. Next up we have we have a little elephant patch. This is so cute. I don't think I got an elephant last year either. 
So I love when there's like little animals and little prints on these squares. And then last but not least, we actually have another snail patch. How did this happen within like the first six packages? I get two snails, but there's a little heart for the shell. And I love that these colors really stand out from each other so you can totally see what's happening. Thank you so much, Ari, for sending these in. Oh, this Mowgli one. I feel like I just wanna keep this one. Let's move her along. This next package is from Sydney in North Carolina. We got sister packages, but the patches that they sent in, ooh, I love chunky yarn. All right, this is the very first square. We're loving the like aqua ocean blue vibes. So gorgeous. I do think this is another granny square type of stitch. So this is the first square. Moving her along, ooh, Ooh, I feel like this is a 100% cotton fiber. We have another granny square stitch or granny stitch with like a blue and white kind of marled looking fiber. This might be my favorite one from the collection. Look at these like summer spring colors. I love that lime green. Next up, we have a solid granny square patch. If my camera can focus, here she is. Love in the mint green. And then last but not least, we have kind of another aqua teal mixture. Ooh, we have a fun, fetty little package here. This is from Kenna in Idaho, Louisville, Idaho. So Kenna's square contributions. Oh, I think this is an acrylic fiber, but it feels so good. I'm not too sure what the coloring technique of like this granny stitch pattern is called, but it definitely gives me like mosaic, like tile vibes, but I'm loving the teal blue. You guys know I'm a sucker for earth tones. I like the teal colors. And then next up, right up my alley, we have more of a sunburst technique kind of like a ferny green that teal again and like some mossy green with like the cream background this is such a gorgeous color palette so thank you kenna adding them to the pile all right this package feels hard and heavy and dense this is from gertrude in germany another long distance package this is the cutest thing ever gertrude also sent in some like pamphlets and postcards Whoa, I don't even know what to call this, but I absolutely love these like cupcake vibes. We got like the pastel pink, the purple. What would you guys call a design like this? It's crazy. Oh, get out. Is it kind of like a, am I tripping? Is it like a flower or is it like a bike wheel? It kind of gives me vibes of like the spokes on the wheel of a bike. I feel like I'm just tripping out, but this is so cute. I love the color combos. We have a larger package. This is from Gracie in, I think, Georgia. What in the world? These are so cool. Okay, so I have two of these like super thick, I think they're like acrylic or wool squares. They're super, super dense, but there's a ton of like tweedy, I don't even know what to call it, like Tweety Nubs. Can you guys see all of like these like little hairs and fibers? That is so unique. This next package, it looks long distance again. It's international. Penny from Australia. I don't think I have ever received a package from Australia. So let's go through these because they are all solid color, but I love this palette. Kind of screaming summer rainbow. Oh my gosh. Look at these colors. Okay, first up. We have a teal, a deep teal solid square. We have kind of like a mauvey pink solid square. Next up, ooh, this, this might be my favorite one. Kind of a smaller stitch, but you're getting like a, like a periwinkle purple. We also have more of a navy blue solid stitch. And then, oh my gosh, you sent in so many. I think there's 10 here. We have kind of like a rosy pink square. We also have a mustard yellow solid square. Ooh, this kind of reminds me of, this might be either Karen Blossom Cakes or this could be the Loops and Threads yarn, but this is like a marled chain construction. Look at her. I love this, it's so gorgeous. We have more of a burnt orange, a, ooh, this is like a tinsel fiber. 
there's like glitter, lurex, or metallic fibers throughout. And then the last two patches, so this one is like a green and white marled colorway. And then this is the square that she was talking about that is Tunisian crochet. Okay, this is so extra and I'm here for it. We have a massive hard package. This is from, it just says A in the Netherlands. Oh my God, I cut myself with the scissors. That's gonna hurt later. So for my prediction, <laughs> what, what is this? Oh, I'm gonna cry y'all. Oh my gosh. As a little thank you for this and your birthday, I made you these earrings, stitch markers, and a ponchette, ponchette, panchette. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for being an amazing friend halfway across the world. All of my love, Amara. We need to take a second, aside from the patches, to, to just appreciate the work that Amara has put into this ponchette. I'm gonna figure out how to wear it, but it kind of looks like I could either wear this as a tube top or as a skirt, maybe even a dress, but this is absolutely darling. I've never worn something like this before or made something like this. And in case you guys didn't know, Amara has been a long, long time friend here on my channel. This is what Amara made. Thank you so much. I mean, words can't even describe how touched I am. This is so sweet and this is so intricate. These are also the earrings. I need to show these off because we're not just here for patches, okay? If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I think Amara made boba earrings. Get out of town, that is so freaking unique. I love that. We have stitch markers. <gasps> Look, I'm pretty sure that this is from Spirited Away. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of these guys, but I actually planned on making some resin crochet hooks with these like little designs. So there's that stitch marker. Ooh, look at this guy, he's cute. First patch, we have an earth-toned, creamy brown-toned square. I love this, it feels so good. You know me with the earth tone colors. Next up, if I'm not mistaken, this is a skull patch. How freaking unique, that is so creative, I love that. I also have two star patches. I think these are my first star patches ever. Look at these guys. This kind of reminds me of Patrick Star, but look at these. We have another skull patch with more of like a pastel rainbow pink type of colorway. And then last but not least, I think this is a heart. Here's a heart patch from Amara. We're back, another pink package. This is from Anne Marie in Florida. Get out of town, that is so cool. You know what, this actually really reminds me of the Frida Kahlo bunny patch that I got last year, which was definitely one of my favorites. So to have a sugar skull patch, again, I don't know another word besides absolutely unique. I love the little flower headdress that the skull is wearing. The next patch that Anne-Marie sent in, pretty sure this is like a flower, with like a little flower stem. I love that. You guys know I'm a sucker for like the 3D or 4D type of squares. So here is this one. And then last but not least, Anne-Marie sent in more of like a blue aqua toned granny square or granny stitch. So these are Anne-Marie's contributions. Definitely skull patch, okay? We're a huge fan of this. Thank you for creating something so unique and eye-catching. Hi, we're back. Camera died. We're back in action though. This next package, this is from L. Winston in Illinois. We have quite a few patches here. Holy moly, you guys always send in so much. So from Lily's stash collection, I feel like most of these are actually in the granny stitch pattern. So let's just go ahead and show them off really quickly here. This is the very first patch. We have more of like a lemon meringue colorway. Next up we have, ooh, kind of more of like a bumblebee type of colorway. I like that pop of black. It really helps everything stand out. Next up we have, 
kind of like an ice an icy blue. Next up, we have gray and yellow colorways. We also have pink, yellow, and blue. This is really vibrant. I love this. This is definitely going to stand out on a blanket. Last three. I actually really like this one. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of pink. This is such, like with the black in the center, Okay, I'm feeling her, I'm feeling her. A yellow and white granny square patch. And last but not least, we have the blue and yellow colorways. So thank you, Lily, for pulling these out of your stash collection and contributing them. This next package is Amelia from Texas. All right, Amelia sent in one, two, three, four patches, like the little sunburst technique. So this is the very first patch. Again, I think this is, I could be wrong, but I feel like this is like the sunburst pattern. Look at that. And then next up, we also have another sunburst. This is fun. I really like these like color combos. I love when you guys use like darker colors to help the more like bright, crazy colors stand out. Next up, we have another granny stitch. Granny stitch square. And last but not least, we have more of a solid color, kind of like a tweed effect yarn. So this is what she's looking like. Thank you, Amelia. They're going in the pile. This is also from Germany. Okay, I'm a little sad because there's no note, so I can't quite address who this is from, but the patches, oh my gosh, so intricate. Okay, this is by far my favorite one that you sent in. But look at this patch. It's actually so cute to have something like so basic and simple. But here at the very center of the granny square, <laughs> look at this little miniature flower. It's funny because it's so tiny, but it kind of speaks volumes. You get a little mixture of a solid color patch, but then there's a little bit of character right there. And then the other two patches that they sent in, we have, I think this is kind of like a clover, clover image or maybe just a flower image probably reading way too much into it but this is the second patch if my camera will focus this is what she looks like and then the third and last patch we have more of like this opened granny stitch pattern okay this next package just says it's from junior in michigan okay this is a crazy patch i feel like this is a sheep Tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong. But what's so cool about this patch, okay, we have kind of like, kind of a basic structure, but the like wool of the sheep stands out. I don't know how you did that, but that is absolutely darling. I love that. There's so much character. You definitely put a lot of thought and time into this one. So definitely gonna be somewhere, somewhere front and center on the blanket. Look at that. And you got like this chartreuse green, chartreuse, chartreuse green loving the vibes thank you for this little sheep guy all right next package this is from oh wait a second <gasps> this is a special package as well okay i've been waiting to open this one up i'm sure if you guys watch my channel here that you probably watch tiktok okay y'all probably know my girl biddy this is from biddy in washington seattle washington Gosh, look at this note. Thank you, Biddy, from the bottom of my heart. This is so exciting to have another crochet friend that I've made through social media to be able to contribute to my own project. So that's very touching. Biddy, you are so freaking creative. Look at these stickers. Oh my gosh. Let's start off. Oh, this is definitely your vibe, Biddy. Like these colors, I feel, is what you use the most in your projects. We got the royal, like purpley blue, the black and the green granny stitch. This is so cool. Okay, Biddy stitched on, Biddy stitched on these freaking beads that says handmade. I absolutely love that. So personalized. I love this. Wow, wow, wow. Biddy. <laughs> is this what I think that it is? This is the craziest. This is the craziest patch I've ever seen in my life. I'm not gonna say too much on her, okay? But I mean, do, do y'all get what this is? Pretty sure this is a pair of chesty besties with like a nipple piercing running throughout. So in case y'all didn't know, free the nipple, okay? Do what you wanna do with your own life, it's your body. We love it, look. 
gosh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. There's no way anybody but you could have thought of this. And then last but not least, we have more of like this rainbow. I think this is like a hound's, hound's tooth stitch. I could totally be wrong. But this is cool too. Look at all these pops of color. That's crazy. Thank you, Biddy, from the bottom of my heart. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look at the handmade one. Oh my gosh. Moving along, we have an unaddressed package from, I think this is Idaho. There's no name on here, so I can't address this one either. Oh my gosh, so personalized. These freaking like make my heart sing. Look at all of this texture, all of these little different designs, absolutely unique. How amazing is this? They even added on like a strip of lace. So personalized, I love this. Ton of character, already another favorite. And then the second patch that Idaho sent in is another granny stitch pattern but there's a little button here in the center. So it kind of sets it apart from the others as well. You're just adding in like your little personalized touches. Look, look at these patches. Every year y'all get more and more creative. So I can't wait to see what this blanket's gonna look like when it's all completed. There's gonna be so much going on. It's gonna be very, very overwhelming and I love it. All right, this is taking me absolutely forever. I'm having way too much fun, but let's move her along. Next up, we have Alyssa from Connecticut. There's also some, oh, some like glitter holographic stickers. Look at that. I think I'm gonna put this on my hydro flask. Get out, that's creative. It's like a cactus, but yarn. Alyssa sent in five different patches. So this first one has more of like this flower, kind of like a blooming flower in the very center with like this brown, creamy brown yarn. Next up we have, ooh, what is this stitch called? It's kind of like a cluster stitch. So there's like three double crochets in each little section. I love that it's kind of like peekaboo. So there's this one. Next up, oh my gosh, it's kind of like a like a tie-dye happy face. Look at this one. Can you guys see this yarn here at the very center that's so like ombre and colorful? If I'm not mistaken, this also does be looking like, it do, it do be looking like the Karen Blossom Cakes, if I'm correct. And then we have like the green border. So we have a smiley face and then moving, oh, Look at this, we have a strawberry patch. Oh my gosh, I love the deep, deep red. Look at this one. Okay, and then last but not least, this is definitely the Karen Blossom Cakes. I could not, I'm definitely right on the money. Look at this, look at these colors. Here's my contribution to the community project, A Brown. This is a very unique patch. I have not received anything quite like this just yet. I couldn't even tell you what kind of stitch design this is, but they kind of give me like, like lace ladder vibes. Oh my gosh, am I wrong? Is that kind of like a leaf? Do you guys see like that? It's kind of like a, like a lace leaf stitch that is super cute. Thank you. We have a black and white package. This is from Kaylin in California. We got some California babies over here, okay? So I'm reading this note from Kaylin, and as I get to the very bottom, she says, have a good one, fellow UCSB Ian, <laughs> or trash panda raccoon, cause gauchos are not a great mascot. That's so cool, I had no idea that I have fellow UCSB alumni here on the channel here supporting me and watching me. And in case you guys didn't know, I did go to school at University of Santa Barbara. So this is Kaylin's patch from a fellow gaucho. I think this might be a double-stranded double stranded project, which is why you get so much color change and color variation. So thank you for this one. Look at these colors. It's like romantic pastel vibes. Thank you, Kaylin. All right, I had to stop for a quick coffee break because I'm parched. Okay, I've been talking a lot. Thankfully, you guys don't get tired of my voice, but we're gonna move along to the next package. This is from Devin in New Jersey. This is Devin's first patch. We have more of a granny stitch pattern, but look at that lime green. I'm such a sucker for these colors. Next up, we have a thicker, 
flower sunburst pattern, but I like that with this green border yarn, it like, I don't know, it has kind of like an ombre, like a ombre sh color shifting feel. It almost gives me like tie dye vibes. So this is the second patch from Devon. And then last but not least, we have a bright or like a deep purple sunburst. But I love that you chose to put this like baby pink color here at the very center. So these are Devon's contributions to the project. Okay, I think I still have about 25 packages. This is just addressed from your fan in La Jolla, California. So there's no name for this one, but you know who you are. These two packages Patches. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the first scrap yarn project, if I'm correct. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Can you guys imagine making like a whole sweater or like a whole, I don't know, summer top? Look at these colors. This is so amazing. Definitely another favorite. Such a good job on this one. And then their second patch. I think this is considered like a plaid pattern or maybe like a gingham pattern, but look at this one. Oh my gosh, there's so many color changes in this as well, but you can't even see. Look at that, that's effortless. Oh my gosh, such, such a great job. Definitely killed this you understood the assignment. So thank you for these patches. Believe it or not, we have another package from Germany. This is addressed from, I think it says Mimi or Miri. Gosh, this is Miri's or Mimi's Miri's patch. And it's so intricate. If you guys look really closely, there's, there's like some metallic or like Lurex, like Lurex fiber in there. And I'm pretty sure that they double stranded this entire patch. There's a ton of different color, color and textural changes. Miri sent a second patch as well as some of her mandala art. This is either Tunisian or it's knit, but it, I don't even know the name of this. You guys know what I'm talking about, but you get more of like this cross hatch, like a cross hatch technique. Look at this, what a stunner, a lot of texture. All right, so this next package is actually from Allie in Alabama, I'll remember that one. This might be my favorite from your little collection that you sent in. So this is Allie's first square, like a really gorgeous, like almost oil slick type of coloring to it, where it looks like somewhat shiny and metallic-y. Can you guys see that? That is so cool, I love this. The second one, we have a granny stitch pattern with a little pink heart in the center. I'm such a sucker for patches like this where you guys are putting like little tiny designs in the very center. And then last but not least, ooh, okay. I don't know which way is supposed to be the correct way. So I'll show you both sides. This first side, oh my gosh, look at how like fluorescent that coloring is. You can definitely see like the crochet stitches. So I feel like this patch could be used Either way, unaddressed, there is no name, but I believe it says it's from North Carolina. I'm so sad, there's no note, so I can't quite tell you guys who made this. We gotta show off this bad boy. I don't know a name for this other than Flower Stitch, but this is crazy. Look at the color changes. I love these color combos. Y'all know that lime green with like the light pink kind of give me like watermelon vibes, but look at her. And then the second patch that they sent in, we have more of like this lacy open stitch with a heart in the center. So thank you for these. All right, so this next one is from Elena. <gasps> Italy. We have, I think this is the first Italy patch. Okay, no words for this guy. I mean, look at this. I think it's a frog. It's like a little frog holding a heart. So this is definitely a message from Elena. Elena is sending love to all of you. That is so gorgeous and so thoughtful. So thank you for this. Moving right along, we have a black package. This is from Honey Ski in Texas. First patch, we have a granny stitch in like this minty aqua green. Look at that so fluffy and soft. Next up, we have a slightly darker green. It's a green, what am I trying to say? <laughs> so these are the first two patches. 
Next up, ooh, okay, we have like a multicolored checker pattern going on here, but I feel like this yarn right here is a little bit tweedy. So this is their checkered pattern. Next up, we have same textural yarn, but we have a pink and a red checkered pattern. And then last but not least, I think this is the coaster. They made me a little sunflower or like a little flower coaster, which is perfect for me because I mean, I'm drinking a coffee right now and I'm actually getting water all over the floor. So your coaster is immediately going to use. Thank you, Honey Sky. This is another unaddressed, unaddressed package from I think Nebraska. Ooh, I have a sticker. Thank you for this one. I think she said it's her first ever Granny Square patch. So she used this really cute like sage, sagey green colorway to make this more of like a lacy granny stitch pattern. So thank you, Lizzie. This next package is Lisa from Nevada, Nevada baby. I decided to felt my designs onto the crochet squares. I hope you love them as much as I do. Whoa, I was not. It All right guys, get, get a load of Lisa's creations. This is her first patch. As she stated in her letter, she hand felted onto the crochet square. So we kind of have like, kind of like an all seeing eye, but it's like a flower that is crazy. Can you guys see the texture of this up close? How amazing is this design? How did you even think of this? Okay, next up, another favorite. We kind of have like, like melted smiley faces or maybe like acid smiley faces, like acid wavy. And again, they're hand felted on. I have never seen anything like this before. These are so gorgeous. Okay, last one from Lisa. I don't know which way it should be. Maybe like this? Kind of give me like lava lamp, but again, kind of like acidy, acid drips. You guys know, kind of like slime. No words, thank you, thank you for these. So I just took a minute to read this letter and it's actually addressed from Kellyanne in Utah. These, I think she used maybe like a Grafgan type of like pixel art to make these, but they all have some type of bubble stitch effect on them. So with this first patch, can you guys see how tiny, how absolutely tiny this yarn is? But this kind of gives off, to me, it's either like, a Celtic type of cross, or maybe it's just a cross. I'm reading too much into it. This is her first bubble stitch pattern. If I'm not wrong, this is a bumblebee pattern. Again, look at this 3D texture. Look at this bad boy. Here she is, elephant with the bubble stitch pattern. Next up we have a, oh, we have a crown. How unique, look at this. And then last but not least, I think that this is a fish, a smiling like goldfish. So these are all of Kellyanne's patches. Thank you so much for putting the time into these. This next package is unaddressed, but I believe it says it's from Calgary, Albany, Calgary. Oh my goodness. <gasps> so let's just start with this first one. We have a pom pom patch. I have never received anything quite like this, but the color choice that you use, perfection. Look at this guy, neon, a bright neon yellow, like faux fur patch. Oh my goodness, this feels like butter, but I just love this crazy pop of color. But here is the next patch. No idea how to describe this other than colorful, crazy, textured, kind of like teddy bear yarn. This next patch, so I'm not too sure if there's actually like a design throughout it or if that's just how the color changes works, but I do love more of these bright neon colors. Ooh, look at this. I love when you guys put on, again, like designs. So we've got a big heart with smaller hearts around it. I think that this is a soccer ball. Is that because you see me put like Jordan, Jordan playing soccer like in all of my videos? I could be mistaken. And then last but not least, we have a solid like navy blue colorway. So thank you, Emery. We're back. My battery died again. Quick little recap. Look at all the, look at all the patches. This is crazy. And then we have 
We have a trash pile over there. All right, this patch is actually from Lisa in Maryland. So this is her like ruffled, it's like a ruffled flower, but look at all of that bulk and that texture. Moving right along, the next package is from Very Vesta in Oregon. So before I show you guys the patch, they made a little handmade gift. This is a small gift for you. Crystal crochet choker necklace with sunstone, 14 inches. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Okay, Very Vesta makes these amazing crochet chokers, but look, they added like these little gemstones. Oh my gosh, I have no words. Look how gorgeous that is. <gasps> okay, you already know I'm gonna take pics in this later. I'm gonna tag you. Thank you so much for this little handmade gift. Wow, you have such like such like a niche type of crochet. So this very first patch is 100% cotton with Howl Light beads. Get out of town. This is like a dragonfly pattern, but they added on the Howl Light beads. Oh my gosh. These are so gorgeous. Y'all need to go check out Go check out Jess's business. Look at that, wow. And look at your color selection. You're very carefully like placing these beads and color coordinating. If y'all aren't tripping out over these beads, then I don't know what to tell you because this is so creative. What a beautiful spin on crochet. I love these like little lacy details, how gorgeous. And then last but not least, we have another. So this is the last patch option. Thank you so much, Jess. This is from Allison in Connecticut. There's no note, but Allison sent in this navy blue. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm speechless at this point. Look at these patches. Okay, we have kind of like a bobble puff stitch. We've got somewhat of like a flower design at the very center. This is addressed from Lily in California. The first one, oh my that feels so good. It's like buttery smooth. I don't even know what pattern design that is, but I love it. A lot of texture. The second patch, this has more of like a ribbed type of texture or like a ribbing effect. Next up, oh my gosh, she's so cute. We have a flower. We have another flower patch. I love that you included the little leaf on there as well. So adorable. Look at that. It pops. Tell me it don't pop. Okay. Next up, we have kind of like a scrap yarn looking square with my absolute favorite. You know, we got those earthy tone greens in there, that lime, that lime green, that pop of color. And then last but not least, they included the like granny cluster, granny cluster type of pattern. Next up, we have Hannah from Texas. I'm pretty sure with this one, it is a hand dyed fiber as she mentioned in her little note. It's a hand dyed fiber from a another local Texan. So this is the first patch. Can you guys see the colors of this hand dyed yarn? That is so stunning. I think it's a heart at the very center. It kind of looks like a heart, like a heart keychain or I don't even know. Please let me know down below. I'm sorry if I'm describing this incorrectly, but I love the bright orange with the black contrast. So this next one is from Alexis in Texas. <gasps> Her patches are the sun and the moon. Get out of town, look at these. This is the sun patch. Oh my gosh, I love the color options. Look at this. And then in contrast, we have the moon patch, the sun and the moon. Thank you. I can't believe it. We have another package from Germany. I've never had this many. This is from Mona in Germany, but this is the patch that Mona sent in all the way from Germany. Love the color combinations. We have somewhat of like a sunburst flower in the center. And we got that mustard and brown on the outer edges. We have Madison from Alabama. That's crazy. It kind of has like a spiral like a spiral type of effect. Can you guys see that? Thank you for your contribution. Next up, we have Isla from California. Let's show off Isla's patches. This first one has more of like this tweety, tweety effect granny stitch pattern. And then next up we have, I think this is like a cotton fabric, cotton fiber, but this has more of like a pastel 
berry pink type of coloring. So thank you, Isla, for sending these in. We're getting close, guys. Last seven packages. This is from Zolita in Florida. Okay, Zolita said that she made some sunflower patches. Look at these, they're bright neon. Again, you're smart with that black border. So this is the first one, pink, blue, and lime green. I love this. And then this is the second option, which is just as vibrant. I feel like my camera is like blasted with how much color is in these. We have Julie from Can't Stop Yarning. And this is from Huntington Beach, California. So this is the first patch. We got that pastel purple with the flower in the center, so gorgeous. Look at her, I think this is a moss stitch pattern inspired by Taylor Swift. I love hearing where you guys' inspiration and creativity comes from, so it's very helpful. Thank you for including these. It says that this is from Hakan in Great Britain. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Look at all of these patches. I have no words for this one. Another favorite, look. Oh my gosh. Look at the beads that they placed on these. Hakan, that is so creative. I love the bead ones this year. I don't think, I think I might have only had like one or two bead squares last year, but the fact that so many people are really inspired by like beadwork, it's saying something, y'all. Look at the trends. Look at this. Look at these beads. And then next up, we have a more of a simple granny stitch pattern. Oh, I love these flower ones. I think there's another one just like this in the pile. But here is another flower stitch square. Oh my gosh, the color combos, guys, you're killing me. Look at this one, so intricate. It's like a raspberry patch. Look at how thick and 3D this one is. Oh my gosh, look at this massive raspberry. I love it. Next up, we have more of a sunburst type of pattern. Look at this, I love, love these blues and these greens. I'm not even too sure what this design is, but I can definitely tell that it's like a Grafgan type of artwork. If you, if you would love to correct me and let me know what design this is, please feel free. I just love that there's kind of like an abstract artwork. I love this. This takes so much time. Another thick, fluffy, dense square. Thank you for all of these. The beadwork, the beadwork one goes crazy, Hakan. This next one is from Lucy in Minnesota. We have one, two, three, four, five, six patches. This is getting, this is getting intense, y'all, this pile. This is the first patch, kind of like a sunburst or sunflower type of pattern. Very earthy and green. What a gorgeous ombre patch. I think this is like a C to C or corner to corner type of artwork, but I love these colors. This is so gorgeous. Kind of has somewhat of like a flower design at the very center, but it is a little bit more lacy in contrast to the first one. Another kind of like sunflower sunburst effect pattern. I'm loving these colors. We have another granny stitch, kind of like a lacy granny stitch. And then last but not least, ooh, it's a bobble stitch one. Y'all are on the bobble stitch game this year. I love it. This is from Cheyenne in California. Kind of like another sun sunburst sunflower. I love the cream on the border though. It really makes these colors stand out and pop. I'm not too sure of the name, but this is what it looks like. Can you guys see the textural, the textural quality in this one? I love it. And the yarn almost feels like like a teddy bear. Next up, we have Destiny from Idaho. So these are Destiny's, I love these. These are Destiny's squares. We have the first like tulip garden or like tulip row patches. Maybe these are more like roses, but you can even see like the stems and like the little leaves. So this is the first one. And then her second patch, same pattern, but we have more of like a purple tulip pattern. So these are the two. I can totally tell that you worked hard on these. We have a massive package. I didn't mean to save this to last, but here we go. This is addressed from Derek in Illinois. Okay, something in here, something in here is jingling. <laughs> okay, oh, I don't even know where to begin. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna pull out. <gasps> there's patches, there's candy, there's candles. 
Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I've been holding onto this box for so long. Look at this. They gave me not only candles, but they made a candle crochet holder. Look at this, y'all, the creativity. Jennifer handmade, hand knitted three freaking beanies on them. Oh my gosh. They also included our names on the beanies with like this faux leather like capping. So this one says Aaron. This next one says Jordan. He's gonna, he's gonna cry when he gets home. Look at this. I wanna show off Jennifer's patches. Here is the first patch. We got the 3D bubble flower going on and they also use like rainbow tie-dye yarn on the back here. These are so cute. I might even have to hold on to like one or two of these and use them for a separate project in the future just because they're repeats, but look at these. So this officially concludes the 2023 community patchwork unboxing. Again, I can't say thank you enough, but from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate all of you contributing, taking the time, the money, all the effort and the love that went into every single patch and all of these gifts. I am completely blown away. I wasn't expecting anything extra, so a big, big thank you to everybody. Again, make sure that you go back in the video, check out everybody's Instagram that I have linked or that I have written up here. Check out their websites. Don't forget to su support other small businesses. I know that they would truly appreciate it. And it's all about a community, okay? We're all trying to help each other out and grow everybody's business. So I'm gonna take a few days to kind of just unwind and just soak in all of this. The house is a mess right now, but you know, I know you guys wanna see the pile. This is the massive patchwork pile that we have going on with everybody's notes and everybody's patches. Don't forget to subscribe here to the channel. Y'all already know that we're gonna have a ton of patchwork content coming your ways. I do plan on posting a bunch of these in like little short form clips and videos on TikTok and on Instagram. So make sure that you go over there and follow. I'll be seeing you all very, very soon. I love you guys. Bye.